As the U.S. semiconductor shortage, actually it's global, persists, but certainly here, mainly because the global supply chain still has broken links in other countries. One manufacturer is on the cusp of unveiling a new facility right here at home that could be a game changer. Wolfspeed, formerly known as LED maker Cree, is set to open the world's largest 200 millimeter silicon carbide fabrication facility in Marcy, New York on Monday. Silicon carbide is a, a different type of material used in semiconductors and can be anywhere from 5 to 15 percent more effective than relic, regular silicon. Joining me now on a Fox Business exclusive ahead of the grand opening is Wolfspeed CEO Greg Lowe. Greg, uh, ahead of the day, thank you for coming on to give our viewers the first look here. Uh, let's be clear, though. Your fab plant up in Marcy, New York, in the Mohawk Valley, it'll have little to no reliance on Asia. Can you clarify? No. We, 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 thank you very much for having me. And we're super excited about this fab. And as you mentioned, silicon carbide technology is dramatically better than silicon, and it's going to have a a bunch of huge, really um, strong impacts uh, in the industry. Um, we're building it in upstate New York. We're super excited about it, and so kind of homegrown technology. And I think what's really important to know is that this uh, this uh, wafer fab is coming online at almost the exact uh, time it's needed. The semiconductor shortage and the supply chain issues that have been um, written about and, and spoken about quite a bit are known by everybody, and this is a new fab coming online. It'll be the world's largest and the world's only 200 millimeter silicon carbide fab. And as you mentioned, silicon carbide's more efficient. Mm -hmm. What that translates to, into, into, for instance, an electric car, your car will be able to drive further, 5 to 15 percent further range. Your car will be able to be refueled faster. And your car will require fewer batteries, and batteries are the most expensive thing in an electric car. So the net net is this technology is going to extend the range of the car. It's going to make refueling a lot faster, and it's going to make your car cost less. Well, those are those are big pluses I hear, and really big promises. Obviously, GM agreed. You've got the partnership with them to produce these types of chips for their electric vehicles. What other deals do you have in the works? We've announced a number of different deals. We're super excited about the GM deal. We announced that back in back in October. So obviously, you know, a, a, a premier U.S. brand combined with uh, the premier company in silicon carbide, also uh, Wolfspeed, a U.S.-based company. Uh, we're very excited about that and look forward to a great future with them. We've announced other deals with other tier one suppliers throughout the world, uh, ZF, uh, Borg Warner. Uh, Dan Foss, uh, ABB, a number of different companies throughout the world. So, silicon carbide is in a is in a very rapid growth and expansion period right now, and the fact that we we took this uh, this uh, factory that you can see a picture right behind me um, from a field of mud two years ago to a, a, well, a working silicon carbide fab is quite amazing. Well, that that is what, it, to me, is really fascinating. You know, they always say that the smaller companies have an advantage in a way because they are more malleable. They're quicker to move. You just had Intel several months ago announcing that, you know, we're going to start building a massive multi-billion dollar plant in Ohio. That's years away. These things take a long time. Taiwan Semi started a, a year or two ago, but they're not ready. You know, you guys look really smart and on point. You're opening Monday. Uh, but what about the other all EV companies like Fisker and Lucid and Tesla? Have you had conversations with them? Because if what you say is true and these are, are magn magnified when it comes to really good quality chips, tell me, you know, what's going on with those companies and deals with them? You know, we pretty much have conversations with all the major car manufacturers and all the new startups as well around the world. The appetite for silicon carbide in an electric vehicle is very, very strong. And I would say over the last five years, it's gone from an interest in, te in the technology to pretty much anybody who's designing a car right now, an electric car, is, uh, okay. is pretty much convinced silicon carbide is the way to go. And with those three factors of you extend the range, you, you can refuel faster and it costs less. Okay. It's kind of a compelling, um, it's a compelling reason. Got it. Well, ticker symbol is Wolf now, uh, no, no longer Cree. It's Wolf Speed. And Greg, good luck to you and the team. We'll follow the story. Thank you so much. Greg Lowe.